Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Gaines. Today I'm bringing you this review on the Titan Fitness Bison Bar and the Titan Fitness Yukon Bar, AKA Bison Bar HD. Now, when I ordered this black bar here, Titan basically, on the, on the invoice it said Bison Bar HD and immediately I said, what the heck? I didn't order another Bison Bar. So when it finally showed up, I ripped through the package. Um, shout out to Titan, it came real fast. Free shipping and the box was excellent. Um, I ripped it open and it was this bar. So right off the bat, some of the differences of course is chrome, black oxide. Um, sleeve length is a lot shorter on the bison bar, whereas the Yukon bar is longer by I think an uh, inch and a half. Makes a big difference because the weight capacity is 500 for this one. For the Yukon bar it's 2,000 pounds. Now I don't know about you, but I can't lift 2,000. Shit, I ain't even gonna lie. I can't even squat 500 yet. You know, kind of got that little issue. I'm kind of weak in the legs, but it's all good. I'm, I'm gonna get there soon. But so you're probably asking, well, why'd you buy the other one if you can't even lift 500 yet? Well, because for one, I like to try new things. I like to have different bars, and I wanted to see if the second version was a better version of the first, because there are some issues with this one, and some of the issues are that now that right there is so annoying imagine you're loading or unloading your bar with plates and that happens and you kind of take your eye off of it and all of a sudden you think the walls are crashing down that in itself is uh, something that's really annoying not to mention your j-hooks it doesn't fit properly well I won't say it doesn't fit properly but the fit a lot uh, causes my hooks to move to the side and stuff like that now you might not have that problem if you have stationary j-hooks to where they, uh, they don't move or they lock in place, then you probably won't have that issue. But I don't have those kind of hooks right now. So yeah, that is very scary and annoying at the same time. As you can see, the Yukon bar doesn't do that. Although it does still make my J hooks slightly move, but that's what you're gonna get because the bars are curved. Now regarding the curve, it's still the same. You got a six inch curve here and a six inch curve here. But for some reason, this one just looks very exaggerated compared to this. And I'm thinking probably because of the length of the bar, but uh, you know, either way it goes, I like it. Now, one thing I do like about the bison bar here is even though it does move a lot, when I can get under it, I can pretty much swivel it wherever I want and place it on my back and even adjust it before I squat. This one I can do still, but it's not as easy. Now, so definitely I'll take the bison bar over that. Uh, over the Yukon bar when it comes to that. But either way, both are great. Um, as you can see, this has medium or semi-aggressive knurling. The Bison bar HD Yukon bar has a little bit different pattern. It still works. It's not as aggressive as this medium here, but the biggest difference and I like what I like is uh, the center knurling. As you can see, the bison bar doesn't have a center knurling. And when you squat, when you're sweaty, it makes a big difference. I actually like the uh, Yukon bar because I, once I place it, it's not moving, unless of course I, I move it with my arms, my hands, excuse me. Now, for those of you who don't know what the purpose of the curvature is, never heard, or you've never heard of the Duffalo bar or the Buffalo bar, then I would highly recommend you go and beam the Buffalo or Duffalo bar and you'll get to learn the reasoning behind it. Um, if you don't like Bean, use Google. Hey, I'm a Bean guy. Oh, well, fight me, fight me. But for basically in layman's terms, um, it's basically to alleviate the shoulders. So when it was created, they wanted to alleviate people's issues with their shoulders because when there's high bar squatting, it can easily affect your shoulders if you have bad shoulders. So that's the reason they created it. Now, you can use this for bench press. Um, I tried it, I'm not really fond of it. I'd rather use a straight bar or a cambered bar with a multi-grip. But um, this, I feel like it's just got too much sway and too much movement, as well as the range of motion is way too low and you could tear a pec or your shoulder. So I wouldn't recommend doing it unless you're gonna go really light and uh, you know just keep it safe. But um, the tensile strength for this one is 160,000 PSI. Now, for some reason, Titan website did not include the tensile strength for the Yukon bar. 
However, I'm assuming it's got to be around the same or more if it's some if it's an improvement to the bison bar. It's got to be more, maybe 180 to 200 thousand. Um, but if you know, put it in the comment section below. Regarding the other um, details about the bar, I will link those in the description as well as post them in the description. Um, you guys, um, if you need to know that, you know you can definitely check that out. Both bars are 32 millimeters. Length of the bar, 87. This is 96, as you can see. This makes a huge difference. 500 pound capacity, 2,000 pound capacity. Big difference. So what are y'all's thoughts on squatting with a cambered bar like this? Um, have you used a cambered bar in the past? To be honest, I've never used any other bar, um, any of the competitor bars other than these two, so I really don't have any comparison when it comes to are those better than these or are they similar, so I do apologize. I don't have a baseline for that. The only baseline I have is these two bars, and I can say I enjoy them. I definitely use these bars every time I squat rather than a straight bar. Now, I do use a straight bar from time to time, but typically I'm using one of these two bars uh, as often as possible when I squat. Now, what do you guys think? Um, when you saw my first video, did you notice any difference? If you can see my first um, clip, I was using the bison bar. The second clip, I was using the Yukon bar. Did you notice anything as far as placement or wiggle or the overall mechanics of the bar and how it would sit on my shoulders, the placement of where my hands were at? Did you notice? If you did, um, let me know in the comment section if you would be interested in maybe buying one of these. I think both of them are out of stock right now, but. Um, you know, with this pandemic going on, everyone's trying to make home gyms and stuff like that. So I would just keep an eye on it. And uh, if you're interested, I would highly recommend one of these bars. Now, if I, for the money, if you have, you know, a little more money to go spend, I would get this uh, Yukon bar only because for the simple fact that, of course, it has a higher weight capacity of that. But the main thing is the, uh, the center knurling as well as it's a lot longer so I feel like the curvature is not over exaggerated because the bar is longer and because of this nobody wants that I definitely don't want that so I would recommend the Yukon bar um, have you guys used any one of these bars let me know what you think now here's a close-up of both bars as you can see right off the bat you can see that that sleeve length is so much longer on the Yukon bar versus the bison bar. Now, it also shows you right here, 500 pound capacity. I really like the rubber, the, the bands here that some bar manufacturers use. They chose not to use it on the Yukon bar. I don't know why, but both bars have a real nice stem. As you can see, the knurling here, medium. No knurling on the middle here. And then of course the knurling on the Yukon bar is still there. Like I said, it's not as aggressive, it's not as aggressive, but it works. And there is a bit of a dis discrepancy on the knurling here. It's like it's missing some here. It's a lot lighter here than it is over here. Here it just feels so much more aggressive versus here it seems like someone used sandpaper and scratched it off or something. But I didn't bother sending it back, it's no big deal. It still, it still sticks to my skin. The other side. Just to go tight and fast from here. The logo position goes back.
The chrome bison bar weighs 45 pounds and the black oxide Yukon bar weighs 50 pounds. All right, y'all, that concludes today's video on the Bison Bar and the Bison Bar HD, aka Yukon Bar by Titan Fitness. If you've stayed this long, I appreciate it. Please remember to hit that like. And if you're watching this video, why not go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also turn on notifications by hitting that bell, all right? Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, as you can see here, but it'll also be here, as always. Um, if you haven't seen my first review on the Bison Bar, then you can check it out right here. Just a quick shameless plug. And uh, hey, share the video with your friends, uh, anybody who might be interested in purchasing workout equipment that want to get reviews and stuff like that. Unbiased reviews, okay? And uh, other than that, peace out. Y'all enjoyed my last video. It's, I think it's 265 uh, on squats. So there it is. Remember, keep going and keep growing.